Hey everyone, this is Kevin here, Movie Collector Maniac. This is uh, part two of my still book, Metal Ten and Metal Pack Collection. Got a uh, Jennifer's Body Blu ray still book. I believe this one comes from Zavi. Got John Wick, chapters one, two, and three. 4K. It's a pretty cool looking still book. It's like a limited edition. It's number 5,068 of 20,000. Got John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. Bought this one before I bought the last one, so. I got two copies of this one now, 4K. Limited edition, 4,767 of 35,000 on this one. Next we have the Joker, uh, 4K edition. Yep. Got the original Jumanji 4K still book. Jumanji the next level. Four K. Next we have the Jurassic Park 25th Anniversary Collection, Limited Edition. So we have Jurassic Park, uh, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, which would be Jurassic Park 2, Jurassic Park 3, and Jurassic World. This is the Blu-ray still book. Then we got the 4K still book with that set. <clears throat> it comes in this case. You can see it. Next we have uh, Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 4K. Next we have the Karate Kid Blu-ray still book. I believe I got this one from Zazie. No artwork inside. Got Kill Bill Volume 1 Blu ray. Kill Bill Volume 2 Blu ray. Killing them softly. Uh, no artwork inside. Next we have Ken 4K edition. Uh, King Kong 4K. Next we have Kong Skull Island, uh, the 4K, 3D, and regular Blu-ray edition.
Next we have uh, Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, 4K. No artwork inside. Next one is Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, Cradle of Life, 4K. There's no artwork inside this one either. Next we have Lawrence of Arabia. And this is uh, more of a metal pack than a steel book, I believe. It's just a Blu-ray, I guess a remastered edition or something. No artwork. Next we have Lion, The Lion King in 4K. The animated version. Next we have Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, Blu-ray edition. No artwork inside this one. Next we have Logan, 4K edition. I'm sure most of y'all have already seen this movie. It's a pretty good movie. Next we have uh, The Lone, a Lone Survivor with Mark Wahlberg 4K edition with Blu-ray I believe this one might be a a Zavi steelbook also next we have uh, Lonesome Dove miniseries it's got this cool little slip it comes on. This is a great, great western miniseries movie, whatever you want to call it. If you hadn't seen it, you need to check it out. Especially if you like westerns. And here's the back when you put the cover on. Next we have The Longest Day Blu-ray. Pretty cool looking cover. Next we have Lucy, Blu-ray edition I believe, but I end up putting my 4K disc in here. Next we have Machete Kills, Blu-ray. I can't remember, I might have got this one in Zobby also, but I'm not sure. This one's really a metal tin, but I was going to go ahead and show it to y'all. It's a Mel Gibson Mad Max Trilogy. I don't know if it has anything inside. It just has that inside. Got Mad Max Fury Road plus Mad Max Fury Road Black and Chrome Edition uh, Blu ray still book from Zavi, I believe. It's a really good movie if you haven't seen it yet. I think I have the 3D and the 4K edition of this one as well. Next we have Maleficent with Angelina Jolie, 4K. We have Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, 4K.
got Man of Steel Blu-ray. Ended up putting a 3D and the 4K disc in with this one. Got the Matrix 4K edition. The Matrix Reloaded 4K. The Matrix Revolution. That was a 4K also. Next we have the Mag 4K edition. We got the Men in Black trilogy. The 4K and Blu-ray. No artwork inside. I notice a lot of Sony's don't have any artwork inside of it. Don't know why. Right, we got Midway uh, 4K. It's got the little cool little flip cover on this one. The 4K set. We have the uh, Minority Report with Tom Cruise, Blu-ray edition. I believe this was another zombie still book. Next we have Mission Impossible Rogue Nation 4K. Next we have Mission Impossible Fallout 4K edition. And it came with this little book showing some stunts that were done in the movie. Alright. Next we have the mummy. Classic mummy. I think come out in the 30s sometime, I believe. This is one I got. I think I got it for five dollars at Big Lots. Got a cool little slip cover. Of course it's got one little dent there. Then we have the Mummy Limited Edition Blu-ray with Brendan Fraser. Uh, no artwork inside. Next we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation Blu-ray. One of the best Christmas movies you can watch during Christmas time. Next we have Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, I guess the sing-along edition, Blu-ray, Stillbook, and I believe the Stillbook is like glow in the dark, I haven't really tried it out to see how it works. <laughs> Let's see, next we have Noah with Russell Crowe. Really no artwork inside. Next we have Nonstop with Liam Neeson. Blu-ray, uh, I believe it's uh, Zavi, it's Zavi Steelbook as well.
Next we have the Disney Nutcracker and the Four Realms 4K edition. This is one of the ones I got from Best Buy. It's damaged, of course. But I, be, I believe I only pay like seven or eight bucks for it. They had it on sale. Next we have Oblivion. This is more of a metal pack. It's a Blu-ray edition. I end up putting my 4K in here. I believe I picked this one up at Walmart. I don't know if you can see it. I guess you can see it. Next we have Oh Brother Where Art Thou? It's a Zavi still book. Blu-ray. Once Upon a Time in the West, Blu-ray. Pretty sure this is another Zavi, one I picked up at Zavi. Next we have the Passengers in 3D and 4K. Got a pet cemetery. The original with a little slip cover. Which is a Mondo still book. Pretty neat how they did the cover. That was a 4K edition. Next we have the Pet Cemetery uh, 4K remake. Next we have Phantasm Remastered Edition. Blu-ray. Pineapple Express uh, Blu-ray still book. I end up putting my 4K disc in here as well. No cover art or no artwork inside. We have Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. This is a pretty cool looking still book. It's a 4K edition. Got pitch black, Blu ray. I believe they're coming out with a 4K soon, I believe. Got Platoon. Probably one of my favorite movies, which is a pretty cool looking still book as well. There you go, get to the chopper. Then we have the Predator 3 movie collection on Blu ray. I believe I picked this one up at Walmart for like 15 bucks or something. Predator, Predator 2, and Predators. And I have I have those all on 4K as well. Next we have the Predator. That's a 4K edition. 
And we have Alfred Hitchcock Psycho Blu ray. No artwork inside. We got Quantum of Solace, James Bond, Daniel Craig. Uh, no artwork inside, just 007 down at the bottom. We got Ralph Breaks the Internet in 4K. Got Rambo Last Blood 4K. Pretty cool looking still book. We're still alone. We got Red Sparrow with Jennifer Lawrence. I believe it's a Blu ray still book. I believe I actually got it from Zavi, but I think you could have picked it up at Best Buy also. Uh, I ended up putting my 4K disc in this one. Next we have Reservoir Dogs. Mondo Steelbook with the plastic slip cover. Pretty nice looking still book with all the characters and stuff on it. Uh, we got coming up, we got Resident Evil still books coming up. Resident Evil, the first one. And I believe these don't have any artwork inside. So that's Sony for you. Resident Evil Apocalypse. Resident Evil Extinction. Resident Evil Afterlife has a 3D Blu-ray as well. Well, I think I put the 3D Blu-ray in there. Let's see. Then I have another Resident Evil Afterlife. I think it came from Walmart. Resident Evil Retribution, Resident Evil The Final Chapter, and this is a 4K edition. All the rest were 3D or Blu-ray editions, except for that one with 3D. We got The Return of the Living Dead. Pretty cool looking front cover anyway. Really no artwork inside. Next we have the Revenant Blu-ray edition, but I put my 4K disc in there. It's pretty it looks pretty good in 4K. If you got the 4K. Next we have Robin Hood 4K edition. Next we got Robocop, a remake. It's more of a metal pack, I believe. Next we have uh, the Rocky Collection. I believe the inside artwork is basically that 
on both sides. So I'm not really going to take the disc out. Next we have Rogue One, a Star Wars story. It's the Blu-ray and 3D version. Salem Lot Blu-ray. Next we have San Andreas with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So I think it's a Blu-ray version, but I had a 3D and 4K, so I just put all of it together. Got Saving Private Ryan, 4K. Probably one of the best war movies, in my opinion. Next we have Scar Scarface Limited Edition Blu-ray with Al Pacino. Uh, I end up putting my 4K disc in this one as well. Got Scott Pilgrim versus the world. No artwork inside. Got uh, Seraphim Fall with Pierce Brosnan and Liam Neeson. This was another Zavi exclusive steelbook. Next we have Serenity, and I put the 4K disc in this one as well, no artwork. Next we have the Sharknado collection, woohoo! You got Shazam, 4K. We have Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, Blu-ray. I actually found one of these at Dollar Journal. I went in and picked another one up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might give it away or something. Next we have Sicario, Day of Slado. Pretty cool looking still book, but really no artwork inside. 4K. Here we got Silver Linings Playbook. I believe this one I picked up at Zavi as well. Next we have Sin City. Pretty nice looking still book. Sin City, a dame to kill for. I have this one in Blu-ray Blu and 3D Blu-ray. Skyfall. 007 James Bond. Got one little dent right there. No artwork, just a 007 at the bottom, of course. Then we have Skyscraper with The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. 4K edition. Got Smoking Aces. A 
believe this was another zombie pickup. Then we have Snatch. Uh, no art workings on this one. We got Solo 4K. It was an okay movie. We have Southpaw Blu ray. We got Spectre, James Bond, Daniel Craig in 4K. No artwork. Then we have Speed on Blu ray. Got pretty cool looking artwork inside. Alright, this is the Spider Man Legacy Collection with the Blu ray and 4K. So it has Spider Man, Spider Man 2, Spider Man 3, I believe in this one, and Spider Man 2.1 on Blu ray. So I think it had six, six total discs in that, that case. And then this is the second part to that one. The the Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Got some bonus discs and a Spider-Man 3 editor's cut on Blu-ray. It has the movies in 4K and Blu-ray. I believe it's six discs in this one as well. Next we have Spider-Man Homecoming. On 4K. Pretty nice looking still book. Got Spider Man Far From Home on 4K. Another Nice looking still book. At least on the front, not much in the inside. You got a Star is Born on 4K. You got Stargate Blu ray. Good little sci-fi movie. No artwork. Star Trek Beyond. Can't remember if this was a Blu-ray or 4K edition. But anyways, I got the 3D Blu-ray and the 4K in the case. And regular 3D, uh, regular Blu-ray. We have uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Just regular Blu ray. Let's see if I can hold it down. Got Star Wars The Last Jedi on 4K. Nice looking still book. Got stores, the uh, Rise of Skywalker. Another pretty good still book. We have the Suicide Squad on 4K.
We have the Tekken 3 movie collection trilogy on Blu-ray. I believe I picked this one up at Walmart for probably like 15 bucks. Could have been 10, I don't know. We have Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro. No artwork inside. I actually just watched that movie a couple weeks ago. Next we have Terminator 2 Judgment Day with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The best, probably the best Terminator movie. Terminator 1 is pretty good too. Uh, no artwork inside. Next we have Terminator Genesis. I have the Blu-ray and the 3D Blu-ray in this one. We have Terminator Dark Fate. And really no artwork inside this one either. Next we have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No artwork. Got Thor. 4K. Thought I had that one in 3D as well. Must have a just in a regular case. Got Thor The Dark World 4K Got another Thor The Dark World uh, The 3D and regular Blu-ray edition We got Thor Ragnar Ragnar Ragnarok 4K. I believe I have this one in 3D as well. We got Tigerland. I believe I got this one at Zavi. We got the Tomb Raider remake in 3D and regular Blu-ray. I believe I got this one in Zavi as well. We got the Total Recall remake with Colin Farrell, Kate Beckinsale, Jessica Bill. Got Toy Story uh, 4K edition. And I put my 3D Blu ray in here as well. Got Toy Story 2 4K edition. Added my 3D Blu ray. Toy Story 3 4K also added my 3D Blu-ray version of this one we got Toy Story 4 uh, 4K I haven't watched this one yet I hate that they didn't make this one look like the, the other three Kind of stupid. Next we have Train to Busan, I guess, how you pronounce it. Good little zombie flick. Can't remember if it's from Korea or what.
Next we have the Transformers, the movie animated, Blu-ray edition. It comes in widescreen and full screen. Got Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Pretty neat looking still book. Actually a pretty funny movie too. Next we have Unbroken. Pretty dinged up, but I think I paid like three bucks for it at Big Lot. Next we have Underworld Awakening with Kate Beckinsale. Not a bad cover. We have the Untouchables. Nice little gangster type movie, I guess. Uh, I believe I picked this one up at Zavi as well. We have Van Helsing. Uh, I believe I put the 4K. I put the 4K disc in this one. No. We have Venom in 4K. No artwork. Got Waterworld in 4K. Got Weird Science Blu ray. And then it came with like a little booklet as well. Got a bunch of information and pictures in it. Then we got The Wizard of Oz it's 4K. I also own the 3D version of this movie as well. Then we have uh, Wolf, The Wolf of Wall Street. We have The Wrath of the Titans in 3D and regular Blu ray. Got Wreck It Ralph in 4K. I added my 3D Blu ray to this one as well. Got X Men Days of Future's Past, or Future Past. Uh, I believe it's a metal pack. I got this movie. I own this movie in 4K and I might have the Blu ray of this movie also. Can't remember. I mean, the 3D Blu ray. Let's see, we got Triple X Return of Xander Cade with uh, Ben Diesel. And that one's 4K. Next we have Zero Dark 30. I think this was a Best Buy exclusive Blu-ray edition. I ended up putting my 4K disc in this one as well. Then we got Zombieland 4K edition. Uh, no artwork in this one. Zombieland Double Tap. This is a 4K edition as well. This one does have artwork. Uh, 
Uh, we got Zoolander here. It's a recent pickup at Big Lots. Got it for five dollars. Next we have Zootopia in 4K. This was one of the ones I got from Best Buy in the mail. I'm not sure if this one got damaged. Anyway. There's that. Alright, now to my TV still books. TV series still books. Alright, the first one is Arrow the Complete Fourth Season. Nice looking still book. I don't think they ever made any other still books. This was the only season they decided to make a still book on. Did I know of? Unless I'm mistaken. That's a four disc Blu ray set. Then we have Ash vs. Evil Dead. We got first, second, and third seasons. Two disc set for season one. Pretty cool looking still book. Or metal pack, I guess. We got season two. Another two disc set. And then we have season three. Another two disc set, even though they have places for three discs for some reason. Alright, then we got Black Cells, complete first season, uh, three disc set. Pick this one up at Target. I think they had it on sale for like $9.99, maybe? Possibly $14.99. Pretty good show if you like pirates, especially. Alright, season two. Also picked up at Target at the same time as season one. Another three disc set. You have Blue Planet 2, BBC Earth, 4K. Then there's three 4K discs and one bonus features Blu ray disc. Alright, we got Band of Brothers. Uh, this is a metal 10. Pretty beat up. I think I actually bought this one from the UK or something. Really good show though. Or mini series, whatever you want to call it. Let's see, we got the Flash. Flash season two. This one is a four disc set. Not sure if they were made any other kind of like with Arrow. I'm not sure if they only this was the only one they made a still book on. And then we have the Pacific Metal Ten. Not as good as Band of Brothers, but it's pretty good. It's got a, I think it's got like a love story type attached to this one, if I remember correctly. But my grandfather fought over in the Pacific, so pretty nice. Next we have Tut from Spike TV. Dinged up a couple of times. I think I got this one from Hamilton Books. I haven't watched this, this yet, so I'm not sure exactly how good it is. 
but I think it was only like five or six bucks. Something like that. Alright, next is one of my favorite shows, The Walking Dead. This is complete sixth season. And I'm not sure how many discs it has. Got at least five discs. Yeah, five. I'll just show you the front and back. There's no inside art. That's the front side. You can see it. And then the back. Alright, season seven of The Walking Dead. Looks like another five disc set. With Negan on the back. Some zombies inside. And then we have the eighth season of The Walking Dead. Another five disc set. Actually, this is a real cool looking still book here. One of my favorites, probably. Alright, then we have Westworld. Season 1, which is actually in a metal tin. That is a 4K set. And then we have Season 2 of Westworld. Got some artwork in this one. Let me pull the discs out. Another 4K set of Season 2 of the Westworld. It's actually a still book instead of a metal tin. And that is my last still book metal tin metal pack collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please, please, uh, Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and give me a like on the video if you like like the video and we'll see you on the next video.